Hello you guys and welcome back to another vlog. I hope that you guys are doing well, hanging in there. Today we are starting off the vlog with, of course, you already know, a grocery shop and haul because it actually, I know, I think in the last vlog I did a grocery haul, but that was actually like two and a half weeks ago. So it's time for another grocery shop. I've been like pretty out of food for a while now. So yeah, it's Wednesday afternoon. I think it's like three o'clock. Yeah, and I've just been kind of, I feel like I've been lollygagging today. I've really been trying to get shit done, but every, you know those days where everything just takes you so long? I've just been like super distracted and on my phone way too much today. So it's time to go actually do something that I need to do. Um, I'll give you guys a quick outfit of the day because I got a little bit ready today. Like I got a little, a little bit cute today. Is this a good outfit of the day spot? It's what we've got. So I'm kind of trying to, you know, get in my last of my summer summer white while i can not that i'm not going to be wearing white i don't follow that rule but you know what i mean white pants they're pretty summery also when did this freaking stain get on my pants i don't like that i don't like that at all um anyway i've had these little flowy white like high-waisted pants for like probably three years they're so comfortable i like that they have pockets and then i have on my white everlane sneakers and then for my top i just have this flowy bell sleeved cropped sheer top it's from urban outfitters i've had it for over two years so it's one of my faves and i haven't worn it in a while and once again i'm like and eh, this is more of a summery vibe early fall so getting in less of it while i can then i just did my cute little cherry earrings can you tell that they're a cherry it has a little leaf up there um i'll link the instagram shop that these are from in the description because she's one of my followers and i love I will see you in the car. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to Grocery Outlet and Winco. I don't think I'm gonna have to go to Whole Foods today. Um, if y'all saw my last video, trying to not support Amazon as much, so I'm not necessarily quitting Whole Foods because it really is one of the places in my area that I can get good organic produce. Not that I couldn't elsewhere, like I probably just need to start doing a farmer's market type thing, but um, I'm definitely trying to go less support miss amazon less so yeah i don't think i'm gonna have to go there today for anything hopefully if i can find everything else so oh yeah here we are y'all listening to some glass animals when you see the halloween display at the grocery outlet you have to purchase something hello guys i feel like this is probably pretty weird lighting it's like half lit on my face because it's kind of like it's not golden hour it's like 5 20 p.m right now but i'm driving home and i am also filming a vlog today for my patreon um fam so it's my first like secret exclusive patreon vlog and i'm filming like different stuff i started it yesterday and it's like more of a personal vlog and updating you guys on my dating life at the moment i talked about that and just talking about like more personal stuff and i'm able to like play music and like i don't know just get more more deep and personal with you guys so if you guys are interested in that that should be up either right before or after this vlog and it's gonna be a pretty good one anyway um i can't remember if i already said it's like 5 20. I, I did say that i'm headed home i went to grocery outlet and i went to winco and i got everything i needed i think yeah i got a good amount of stuff honestly so i'll see you guys at home for of course the main event the grocery haul also listening to some beyonce right now you know the vibes all right the setup's a little random today i didn't try as hard to make it look cute as i usually do I'm kind of in a rush today and I'm really hungry so I'm just trying to put this stuff away but you know a bitch is going out of town when this is the only produce Lindsay bought. I mean compared to my normal amounts of produce this is just so sad. Anyway I guess I'll start on this side because I usually start over there always. Um, had to restock the bocas and then I got some chicken and some Italian sausage because I'm gonna make lasagna so needed that for it and then I got a bunch of cheese um, some parm some cheddar mozzarella I'm gonna make pizzas with my crush tomorrow so that's how I got that um, I got this cute pumpkin welcome sign which is super random but it was like eight dollars and it's just so fucking cute I don't know it was definitely an impulse purchase and then I definitely did not need another pumpkin because I have like 12 mini pumpkins I have to dig out of the storage in my garage 
but you know, it was $2. So you can't have enough pumpkins on display in your house in the fall. I got some cream cheese. Um, I got a green pepper, green onions, one avocado and one red onion. Then I got a giant thing. I mean, it's not that huge, but I got a lot of flour for my mom because she, on the trip, she's going to be making bread, she said. So she said, Lindsay, bring some bulk flour. And this entire thing was $1.77. And that is why Winco is the best people. Then I got two things of olive oil also for my mom for the trip. She wanted me to bring that. And then some vegetable broth. Sorry, stuff is really just like so randomly laid out. I don't know what I was doing. My flowers are in the middle of the counter. So um, I got some salsa because I haven't bought any in a really long time and it looked good. I did get some good snacks today because I've seriously been out of snacks and it's really been affecting my life. Like I've been going to buy snacks and shit. Anyway, I got a huge thing of Cheez-Its, family size Cheez-Its, family size Wheat Thins for like crackers and stuff, Dots pretzels because I haven't had them in a while and I miss them. Also, the Southwest flavor I think is so bad. I tried those like, a, a, I don't know, a few months ago and they are, I think they're really not good. They taste like jalapeno pickle to me and I really hate it. So anyway, just the original is my jam. And then I, I don't know why I got so many pretzels. I also got these mostly for like dipping into hummus. It's always good to have a nice bag of pretzel chips. And then this was random, but I got an apple juice for base for my smoothies. And then I just got this cause I'd never seen it before and well, everyone, I'm gonna have to stop buying Oatly because they were linked to like deforestation and just some bad shit. So thanks to everyone that tagged me in those Oatly like pictures because I definitely saw it. So once I'm out, once I'm done with what I have now, I'm gonna buy just like a different brand of oat milk. But anyway, I got this for just to try out. It looked good, I don't know, for my coffee. And then I don't usually buy ramen often, but I like to have a few things of it in my fridge. I, or, in my pantry at all times for when I'm super lazy or it's late at night and I just want something really quick. So I will buy ramen and use it for <laughs> emergency situations. <laughs> and then what else? I got some buns. Um, What else? <laughs> I got a frozen pizza that was calling out to me there. I went, I was hungry during this grocery shop. So a lot of purchases were influenced by that. A little frozen pizza for once again, like just when I'm feeling like I want something quick. Got two types of mac and cheese. Haven't bought this in a while, but I once again, it's kind of like the ramen. I always like to have it in my house for really quick meals when I'm just super lazy and want something like so fast. I got Tapatio hot sauce. This is to bring, again, another request from Lisa on the trip. So we got that. Um, these were, I got these instead of these, I still don't know how to pronounce this brand, Steez. Steez, it must be Steez because it has T, like T-E-A in the word Steez, okay. Lindsay, that's gotta be right. Anyway, uh, they didn't have my normal green teas that I've been finding at the grocery outlet, so I got these energy ones to try out and I got eight of them so hopefully they're good they were two for a dollar so can't really beat that and then for the wine tonight we did two pinot grigios in the back and then this is a brute that I have not tried before so I'm going to bring some of that on the trip as well stocked up on a little bit of wine and that was probably the quickest grocery haul I've done it's not as much as I usually get but I do feel like it's still a good amount um anyway yeah you guys I'm going to put this stuff away now go and record my podcast. I'll talk to you at some point, probably later tonight. Okay, I hope you liked the random, mostly snack-filled grocery haul today. Hello to my people. It is Thursday now. I don't think I ended off the vlog last night. If you wanna know what I did, I talked about it in my Patreon vlog that I'm filming this week. I'm kinda like, chatting about stuff more in that vlog. Anyway, you guys, it's Thursday. I'm drinking some coffee. I used the new um, oat milk creamer that I got yesterday, and then I also added just some regular oat milk to two espresso shots over ice, and it's really good. I really like it. Delicious. After all these years, if you guys have watched me for a while, and like me and my sister, you know about our old our previous Miranda Sings obsession back when she was, you know, you know, really popular in her in her prime in like I would say like 2000, 2011, 2012, the obsession was real, and still, almost 10 years later, 
to this day, Miranda will creep into things that I do. Her voice, because it's just so easy to slip into it. It's just one of those things that's like, I just gotta stop at some point. Like, people will really look at you really weird. Like, people that don't know what that is are just like, what? <laughs> anyway, she still creeps into my my life, especially when I'm around Megan. I'll, sl I'll slip into it like all the time. It's very strange. Anyway, it's just like muscle memory or something from back in those days. Um, anyway, you guys, it's a beautiful Thursday. I'm gonna take Squirtle on a walk and get some podcast editing done. I need to clean my kitchen too, like you guys can't really see right now, but there's hella dishes that are piled up. So those are kind of some main missions of today. I gotta do some stuff around the house at some point. So anyway, welcome. Welcome to more vlog. Happy to have you here. like nothing yesterday and that is because I was hungover and took a nap for most of the day and then after that I don't know I did a little bit of work but yesterday was kind of just a flop vlog day but anyway it's Friday now I just made an avocado to well not avocado toast bagel just an avocado bagel i eat a full bagel sometimes if i'm really hungry but for some reason if i like wake up first thing and i try to make a whole bagel and put like toppings on it and stuff i can never finish the other half and then it just goes to waste so i know it doesn't look like that much but i usually eat this have some coffee and then have some lunch in a little bit but yeah today is friday i'm just doing some editing today i'm a little bit behind on um my patreon content so i'm gonna get a video up there and then edit the podcast and yeah it's a beautiful day so i'm just gonna go and eat this and probably make a coffee in a little bit and um that's what's going on with me today oh guys we need to catch up it's been a while so this vlog is going to be a little bit confusing because i filmed the last clips of this vlog about two weeks ago and now i'm putting in more footage because uh, that was not it didn't ever turn out to be a complete vlog i mean it's only like 13 minutes of footage so far um anyway i kind of planned to like finish off that vlog and upload it before i went on my um family trip that i was just on i thought that maybe i'd vlog on the trip but i ended up as i usually do when i'm on a trip with friends or family that i haven't seen and don't get to see very often i didn't end up wanting to really vlog but i did post a little bit over on instagram um anyway just kind of wanted to say that is when you're watching this vlog that's why there was like i just feel like the beginning of this vlog was really confusing like i kept vlogging like very small things of each of the three days i'm still gonna put in the footage because it's still decent footage but yeah um but fast forward to two weeks now it is the time you guys will actually be watching this what has happened since i last talked to you guys i just feel so grateful to be able to see them my whole family like once a year everybody get together and it was just it was just so nice and it was just so nice really good quality time super beautiful place i've never actually like really been to montana before and the area we stayed in is called whitefish it's like about an hour out an hour away from glacier national park and it's actually only like 
an hour ish away from the Canada border. So, prime location if you ask me. Uh, but anyway, I got back from my trip yesterday night. I drove 10 hours there and 10 hours home all alone. Well, actually, Squirtle came, but you know what I mean. One of my longest solo road trips I've done, driving 10 hours in one day. Um, but it was so worth it and now I'm back in my space and kind of just today I've just been um, beginning to kind of get life back on track and life back together and I wanted to start up the vlog again I just finished editing the rest of this vlog and what else I celebrated my 26th birthday a few days ago on Saturday shout out to any of you guys on Instagram or whatever that wish me a happy birthday um, because it's always just so appreciated and yeah now it's uh, now it's not even Virgo season anymore it's officially Libra season baby <laughs> anyway I'm just back now and kind of adjusting that was really my last like big trip of you know summer slash fall now it's officially fall um so now i'm gonna be hanging out at home more getting things back on track i i definitely feel a little bit a little bit off right now because i you know behind on my work things and that's totally okay i know that i'll i know that i'll catch up and um all that stuff and I'm, i am glad that i took actually like that time off to be on my trip and I do want to say thank you to you guys for your patience because I know I haven't uploaded in at least a couple weeks and I've been before that I was pretty much trying to upload about once a week um, and keep pretty regularly so definitely gonna get back onto schedule it's late afternoon today I'm just kind of doing some laundry and I actually wanted to do a little unboxing haul because I did get some packages in the mail while I was gone so I figured I don't know I feel like it's just who doesn't love an unboxing haul? I love an unboxing haul. Anyway, um, I could show you guys over in the kitchen, but this is a pretty comfy spot, so I think I'm gonna bring my stuff over here. All right, let's start with some stuff I got for fall slash a few things to replenish from Grove Collaborative. I order from them. Uh, I pretty much get a box every month and you can like add stuff to your cart and free shipping. I think the membership is like $20 a year and you get free gifts a lot of the time. And like I said, always free shipping and they also ship plastic free. So I always am restocking like stuff for my home slash beauty products sometimes from Grove. First thing I got is a little random, but it's a dish towel for fall. <laughs> I didn't want like a super like obnoxious, I don't know, like Halloween, like really loud one. Um, that's not really my personality, but I do like to decorate like subtly for fall with just like some light decor. Not, I'm not really into any like big Halloween like crazy decorations like that, but I like to just do like pumpkins and like neutral stuff in my house. Anyway, I'll probably actually tomorrow take out my stuff and actually put it up in the house um, and show you guys that uh, at some point tomorrow in the vlog. Um, but I got a little cute dish towel and then I got some tea light, some soy tea light candles because I use these on my balcony and I go through them really quickly so um i got a few of those two packs and then um i did get a re replenishment of my favorite self tanner which a lot of times i get asked by you guys what self tanner do i use because i self tan pretty much like around twice a week typically i'm not always tanned but i do like to be and this is by far my favorite self tanner it's also an organic self tanner i'll take it out of the box just so i can show you guys I seriously go through this stuff like I pretty much use a bottle of this every like three weeks so I literally order it like every three or four weeks and I always get it from Grove but it's the brand Beauty by Earth they have their um, own website and everything too but like I said I just get it off of the Grove website and it is the organic natural self tanner it's amazing it smells good and I, I use it with a mitt and I am obsessed with it I seriously have probably went through 20 bottles of this because I literally get it like I said every like three four weeks so to anyone that asks me what self tan I use that is the brand I use beauty by earth and I'll link it in the description box on the Grove website if any of you guys are interested it has magnificent reviews 
other than my own personal review. And then on to some exciting things. I got some fall candles. These ones are pretty tiny. I don't know why like the um, the Miss Myers brand makes the holiday or like the seasonal scents smaller than the normal size candles. I, I don't know why, but I already have one burning back there. You can't tell, but one's burning on my counter right now. I have the apple cider one burning right now. I had to remember. And then this one is called um, Spiced Pumpkin. And then this one is called Acorn Spice. And it smells fucking amazing. Like really, really, really good. This is probably my favorite one, the Acorn Spice. So yeah, <laughs> I got three of those. Already have one burning. Um, you guys might know that I stopped buying the Bath & Body Works candles. Um, and I try to only do like soy candles or local candles or um, not as um, chemically candles, if that makes sense. Not as like toxic. I've already broken into it. <laughs> Just a lip balm from Grove. I buy lip balm all the time because I lose my lip balms very often and I have an addiction. So I had to replace that. And then this is not from Grove, but I opened this yesterday and it was just um, a product from Origins and it's called the Jin Zing Into the Glow Brightening Serum. The packaging's super cute. It's like glass and like this ombre. Sorry, I'm really far away. Oh, and my candle is still in the frame. There we go. I put it on my face today and it feels pretty good. So I don't know, I don't have any like, um, makeup or anything on right now so i just put on like skincare and i'm just letting my skin and my hair and everything pretty much breathe next i'm pretty sure i know what this is um but it's still wrapped up so maybe it'll surprise me so i've never tried this before but i've been having a lot of like razor bumps lately uh it's always been kind of something that i've like had on my bikini line and i feel i've been feeling like lately they've just been like more red and noticeable so ladies out there if you have any recommendation i mean hopefully this will work because i've never tried this product i used to use tend tend skin but to be completely honest i just feel like i don't know if i'm not using it enough if any of you guys have ever used it but I don't really notice much of a difference. Uh, so I don't know if I'm just like using it wrong or I'm not using it often enough. Anyway, this is another product that I found that had pretty good reviews and it's called Skin Tight, the ultimate skincare product for razor bumps and ingrown hairs. And this one looked a little bit more natural because it has tea tree oil and willow bark extract. I don't freaking know you guys. Yeah, if you guys have any like miracle products or techniques for like red razor bumps um, on the bikini line, feel free to comment down below because I will take anything I can get. Anyway, hopefully this stuff will help a little bit. Oh, also, this was a package I opened yesterday, a little birthday, a surprise birthday present from my friend Layla. Um, if you're watching Layla, I love you so much. This is my cute little like multicolored hydro flask that she sent me as a little surprise birthday gift. And I, it kind of matches the fit today and it's just so freaking cute. So that's my new bay. This package is from um, a new brand that is called Vivi Naturals. I got a couple different things. I got a spray hand sanitizer that will be perfect for the car. And then, oh, I got a, another hand sanitizer, a spray, and then a normal one. We love, look how cute. It looks like a little hand lotion or something. That is great. Um, and then these look fun. These are Body and Bliss 24 seven immunity boost. CBD plus vitamin C. We're gonna have to try one. Mmm. Those are too good to be vitamins. Tastes like candy. <laughs> Actually, I just got like a, you know when you take a vitamin C and you get like that tart? Ooh, I just got that feeling. I got those. And then we got a Root 66 Volume and Vitality Serum for hair. And then also a CBD Detox De-Stressing Scalp Elixir with tea tree and CBD. Whoa. Sounds kind of legendary. After the summer that my part and my scalp have had, sunburned, peeling, getting bleached by me dyeing my hair platinum blonde, 
we could use a little CBD detox. <laughs> so that, so everything from this brand is super cute. I'm definitely excited to try it out. It's called Vivi Naturals. Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I'll link um, their website in the description box if anyone wants to go check anything out. This is another like little press package that I got asked if I wanted to try. And it's basically these green, this green superfood powder that you put into like smoothies or something. And I've really never been a person that puts like anything super healthy or green into my smoothies so i wanted to try this just to see if like it would affect the taste that much if i put like a scoop of this in and then i can get like all the superfoods and it has a lot of good stuff so this is from the brand bloom nutrition um and they also sent like a couple they also sent a scrunchie which was kind of random and then this little like um what, what is it like the shaker container which i don't have one of these a blender bottle i don't have one so now i have a blender bottle anyway we'll see how this goes i haven't been super into smoothies lately but when i'm feeling like healthy i'll try to do i try to do smoothies more often so i'm definitely going to try out this is called the greens and superfoods essentials and it says it has 30 servings so we'll have to see because honestly your girl is not a girl that likes greens that much but like i said it's always good to try out new things this came all the way from london <laughs> um and one of my followers contacted me and asked me if i wanted to check out her depop shop and if i had like if i liked anything that was on her shop i got a little bit of a surprise package i haven't opened this up so i'm excited everything in here is so cute i'm dying i also got a card and and i got like multiple free necklaces that she included in here. So I'm gonna put her Depop shop name on the screen, but it is Madeline Y, or Madeleine. Madeline Y or Ma Madeleine. Um, her shop is amazing, you guys. She's like a really big Depop seller. So I was honestly just like, girl, your shop is goals. So freaking cute. But I, I'm so excited. She sent me like a couple different things. Um, okay, first we have, a little cozy a little cozy striped sweater can't go wrong for fall with a cute cozy sweater the colors on this i am just i mean it's basically like what i'm wearing look at the colors on this little striped sweater absolutely 100 percent my style this is everything to me this is iconic look at this top i feel like this is like a unique little like festival piece really look at this tie dye top it looks so good like held up on camera and the cut at the bottom and like the diagonal sleeves I don't, i'm not explaining that right but the cut of it at the bottom we have this really cute tank that has some flowers on it and it's like a checkered print if you can see that i feel like this just like tucked in to maybe some black high-waisted jeans with some sort of a yellow accessory. Take me, take me away. I got a surprise bodysuit with this like really cool lace at the top. I'll have to try this on too. Can't go wrong with a black bodysuit, ladies. Am I right? And then hopefully these fit. Oh my God, look how cool these pants were. I saw these on her shop and was like, if those haven't sold yet, like, girl these might be my favorite thing of all look at these pants and then the butt these are just so retro and so freaking unique i am very excited right now go support a fellow queen madeleine i hope i'm saying your name right girl madeleine it's so unique i feel like i've never met someone named that um go check out her depop shop you can follow her on instagram really really good like i said i was gone for like almost two weeks so stuff came in kind of at different times but it was definitely felt like my birthday just continued when i got home and got to open new packages so um i am going to try and clean up the disaster i just made um <laughs> do some more editing i'll talk to you guys in a little bit what's up you guys it's friday morning now i just had a pretty chill night last night just kind of did a little bit of laptop stuff and just kind of chilled on my couch for the rest of the night and today we're gonna have a fabulously productive afternoon so i'm about to eat some delicious breakfast 
I just made some eggs and toast for breakfast. I did a little piece of my bread with two eggs on top, like a soft scrambled egg, and then I did some, a little bit of barbecue sauce and salt and pepper and then green onions to top it off. And get to some editing. I'm also recording my podcast episode today, so that's on my to-do list, doing some more laundry. <laughs> I would just like to commemorate this moment on camera. My first hot coffee of the season. This might not be a big deal to anyone else, but it's a big deal to me because I never make hot coffee. I always make iced coffee every single day. And my favorite mug, my Waffle House mug. I'm gonna add a little bit of creamer. Happy fall, everybody. She has officially arrived for me in this moment right now. Guys, it is about 4.30 right now. The day has really flown flown by. Um, I just finished recording my podcast episode that'll be live on Monday, so that was really good. I've been overdosing on coffee, as I said. <laughs> um, I changed into the pants that I got in the mail yesterday, and I just have to say that I'm obsessed with them. Like, so comfy, perfect fit. Oh, these are gonna be getting a lot of wear this fall and winter season. Also, my mom got me these earrings for my birthday and they just match with like everything. She really thought about like what I wear. Yes, I'm a black and white bitch. I'm a silver jewelry bitch and I'm probably gonna be wearing these like most days. Anyway, I'm about to take Squirtle for a walk. I'm having some late lunch um, in my air fryer. I'm just frying up stuff that I had in my freezer because I really, I need to go grocery shopping. I, I don't have very much healthy options right now. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna film a sesh video for my Patreon um, to kind of just like catch up about life, smoke a little CBD joint, answer some questions that you guys had for me on there. If you guys are ever interested in my Patreon content, I always have it linked as the first link in the description box of all my videos if you guys ever want to go and support on patreon and get extra content secret content that's where i talk about substances and experiences like that I talk more about dating and just more like really more personal life stuff on there so hi you guys it is saturday morning now and i'm about to upload this vlog so i did want to film like a little bit more stuff but yesterday was really busy i know i didn't do like a ton in this vlog and it was like a jumbled up mess but i really just want to get it up for you guys because i haven't uploaded in like two weeks i hope you guys still enjoyed this vlog though give it a thumbs up if you did and if you made it until the end and i will be starting a new vlog either i think tomorrow or the next day probably tomorrow so there'll be another vlog coming thank you guys so much for your patience again while i was gone on my trip i'm definitely back now to some regular uploading and everything and i just posted a new video on my patreon a new sesh video and like life update and q a all that stuff if you want to check that out i'll link um, that in the description box down below and i will see you guys very soon in another vlog bye guys